So we're almost there, 3.8 miles to go now to our destination on Alderney. We've stopped at Newton's Creek and um, we were planning to go a little bit further today but due to the wind um, we've decided to stop here. We spent about three hours motoring. I don't know whether you can see it but I'll just try. Um, but we spent about three hours sort of motoring down with the wind um, on our nose for pretty much all of it and the sea state out there is pretty rough. Um, there's a bit of wind over tide going on um, and it's a lot windier than, than predicted. We keep getting these gusts but it's starting to settle now and it's, it's looking nice. Um, but the weather has turned a little bit, it's brightened up and it's gone quite nice. It's still very windy. So we were planning to make our way down to Studland Bay today, but um, with the wind direction that it is, uh, well the wind direction that it was and the wind direction that it is now, that would have been meaning that we were into the wind all for this section and then when the wind finally did change direction we'd have been into the wind again. So we've decided to stop here and we're probably going to stay here tonight and we're going to head across the bay tomorrow. Um, our plan is to try and make it to Alderney. So we're going to try and make it to Studland Bay tomorrow um, and then we'll wait um, another day there, we'll spend the evening there and then the following morning we'll get up really early and we'll do sort of 10, 12 hours to get across to Alderney and that's the plan at the moment. So we're on our way to Studland Bay now and um, you can see the fort there in the distance and then the needles are just around the corner. So I don't know whether you can see at the moment, but we're actually traveling kind of a bit sideways. Just put the autopilot round up a bit more because we're turning a bit too much there. So we're actually, we've got quite a bit of current. We've got a couple of knots worth of current and very little wind. So we're, even though we're pointing towards sort of Yarmouth there, we're actually heading towards the, um, the fort on the end. But that's fine because that's the way we actually want to go. So we've got a completely different day today. It's lovely and there's no swell, there's no waves, and there's very little wind compared to yesterday's 25 plus knots. We've just come out of uh, Newtown Creek. Uh, a couple of boats coming out at the moment there, you can see. And there's a couple of power boats and that coming down the Solent. We've got a little bit of an issue still with our furler. So we, we did a couple of jobs over the last couple of days. We've, re, we've been up the mast and we've replaced the anchor lights. We, we're all LED in terms of navigation lights now. But in doing that, we had to take the front sail off. So the Genoa had to come off because we wanted the Genoa halyard and the main halyard to go onto our um, bosun's chair so that we could go up safely. That meant that we got a winch here controlling one and a winch this side controlling the other so we got completely separate sides with two winches to, to take somebody up the mast so in doing that we had to take the front sail off as we were taking the front sail off the furler jammed and um the the one actually right at the very top which you probably can't see just at the moment that stopped turning the rope wrapped round the sail as it was coming down um, and completely got stuck so in doing that one job of going up to replace the anchor light, it kind of turned into five, but we've also now uh, re-greased the furler and um, sorted all that out. But we have got one too many turns around the ropes. We can't fully furl that out at the moment. So we need to sort that out in a bit. Just take a couple of turns off because that drum's getting full. Um, but other than that, we've now got all the navigation lights sorted out. Um, we've checked the rigging while we were up there and um, we're in pretty good shape. Christine's having a little rest here. You can tell it's nice because I'm not hiding under the square hood. <laughs> nice and warm. <laughs> Catherine's tick tocking and chilling. Yeah. And uh, I'm just seeing if we can go sideways through the gap. Thank you. 
So we're in Sutherland Bay now and we've anchored, uh, well, we've actually tied to one of the new um, eco moorings. So there's a row of mooring balls here now, as you can see along the front. And um, that's to try and stop you anchoring um, because you used to be able to anchor um, along this side here. So we just show you on this edge. You used to be able to, to anchor along the side there, but now there's a conservation uh, zone to do with the seagrass. So they're looking at the seahorses and the seagrass um, on that side. And um, they're asking you to voluntary not anchor in that, that area um, to pick up one of the balls or to anchor in any of this side at the moment. I think we've got plans to actually change it at some point but that's where it currently stands. Um, we've been over to the beach so we've been in, uh, been over to the beach for a little bit and along the top there there's a pub um, so we had a little drink in the pub and just behind the pub is a place where you can actually drop waste off so that, that car park has got some bins and things that you can drop your waste off into so that was quite handy. Dropped a few things off there come back down to the beach and then back out so we've got the dinghy on the back ready we've got everything prepped for tomorrow so that's uh, tied on and uh, well oh yeah we lost um we lost a uh, we lost jeff our boat boat hook yeah we lost a boat hook today it went in and then it sunk very fast yeah so he kind of floated for a little bit and then he just went down well, good morning everyone. We are now on our way. It's uh, about half past six in the morning and we're on our way to Alderney. Um, we're just leaving Old Harry here in Studman Bay. I'm just, um, just come out here and we're now set on course to Alderney. We're just motoring for a little bit um, while we just get clear of all the pots. But once that's done, we're gonna get our sails up and we're gonna actually get sailing. If I just show you the course for today, so uh, hopefully, if I put that through there, you can see this. So it's just shy of 55 miles. Um, at the moment, it's going to take us 18 hours. We're only doing about three knots. So we're only just starting to get going. But what's interesting is if you look at the course that we're taking. So if I zoom right out, there's Alderney. So at the moment, we're heading actually for the Alderney race in the middle. So the bo boat's actually pointing at Alderney race. But what we're actually doing is we're actually... The, the track that we're actually taking at the moment, the way, way the boat's going to end up, which is the green line here, is somewhere in the top of France. Now that's right, because at the moment the tide's taken is this way, so it'll push us about three miles, maybe even more than that further up. You'll do like an S. So instead of trying to constantly correct this track all the time to get there, the tide's going to run that way for approximately six hours and approximately that way for six hours. Except for us, that was handy, wasn't it? Let's just do that again. Let's put that back in. There we go. Don't know why that happened. So the tide will run this way for approximately six hours and then this way. So what the idea is that you actually create like an S like that. So we're going to be taking this way because this afternoon the tide's going to push us this way towards Alderney. And, and through here it absolutely flies. You know, it, 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 it's the Alderney race. So it's going to run pretty fast through there. So what we want to be is we want to be on the French side, so a bit more towards France, because what we can always do then is we can always just make a turn this way and we'll have tide and everything with us to get to our destination. What we don't want to be is down here somewhere and then have the tide then taking us that way. So that's the plan at the moment and that's the course. That's the course that the boat, boat is taking. That's the actual direction travelled. And as I say, those two should do that a little bit later on uh, and meet. That's the plan anyway, so we'll, we'll inform you if that works, we'll let you know. Um, there's an island packet there, so he was in the anchorage last night, Chris is trying to get out without getting on the camera. There's an island packet there, so we had a bit of a look at him. There's a big fishing boat here, just gone out. And then this is Swanage here. And as I say, just in the background we've got Pool and um, Studland Bay. So that's our plan. It's going to take us a long time. It's going to take us at least 10 hours today, um, maybe slightly longer. So we're just, um, we're just getting up early. We're getting a bit of a head start and uh, we're on our way. We've completed our C113... 
yeah, C1331 form. So if you're a UK sailor, we've submitted that to Border Force and to all the other forces that are out there. And um, that's gone in. And um, hopefully we've done the right thing. We did put that we're going to Alderney on it. So it's like UK to UK, but apparently you have to do it for the Channel Islands. So we have done. Um, and then we believe when we get there, we've got to then fill in another smaller customs form. And basically that's it. Away we go. So with a bit of luck, that's everything taken care of care of in terms of formalities it's still early and I can't remember what I'm saying um, but yeah so we're on our way speak to you in a bit so the ferry's just passed us I think we're going to lose this race it's going a little bit quicker than we are see back now towards um, Studland Bay been going a couple of hours a couple of hours of uh, engine and now we've got the sails up so we're we're uh, we're on our way everyone's just relaxing Catherine's up now we're on our way now that's it sails are set hopefully the wind's going to come a bit more round to the side um we're doing about five knots As you can see the course is a little bit closer together now so um i'd like to turn a little bit more um, to our left just to make sure that um, we can uh, we can be a bit more on the, the French coast to go down when the tide turns but the wind slowly coming round we're struggling a little bit it's coming round a bit more now so we might just try and turn another couple of degrees because every little bit will help us just a bit of an update now as to where we are um, we've got 34 nautical miles to go um, it was a little bit of a slow start to be fair, the, wind, the wind's here now, we've been doing 6 knots for a while, we've just dropped back down to about 5.2, 5.3, um, but this is, this is what's happening now, so hopefully you can see. So before, the green was pointing to France, um, on this headland of France here, now that the tide is turn, starting to turn the other way, the green is actually the other side of Alderney where we want to go and the red is in the gap. So now that we've got, we, we went about 5.2 nautical miles onto the French coast. So we were, you know, we drifted this way with that tide. So now what it is, it's the gamble now of whether that's enough to take us back and whether we need to turn. One of the issues we've got, and we have been trying to turn that way as much as we can because we know the tide's obviously gonna go this way on our arrival, just get that out of there, is that we're so close to the wind. So as you can see here, we're sailing really quite close to the wind. Um, it is starting to come around now, luckily. So we have been, we, we do keep turning a little bit more to, uh, to port. So this way towards our left. Um, and that's to try and keep this distance up so that when the tide does start taking us that way, we don't overshoot and end up going off down here because then we'll just have to try and motor against it and that's what we just don't want to do. So like I say, we've, we've come quite far this way in this kind of curve and it'll be a curve like that. Um, and that's what we're trying to do at the moment. There's a yacht here. We've caught up with this yacht. He's just got his head sail up. Uh, sorry, he's just got his main sail up. Um, there's a very fast powerboat behind him. We've just watched him come along. There's nobody behind us apart from this big tanker now over here. I don't know, you probably can't see that on that uh, with that camera. We've got another tanker to this side because um, there isn't a shipping lane here, but there is the entrance to the shipping lanes a little bit further down, um, just kind of off Portland. So um, we're at the top of one here. There's a yacht just here, tanker's here. Uh, and there's a tanker over here as well. But uh, really nice, really nice crossing. We've done really well. Like I say, we're, we're sailing very, very close to the wind, um, which is the, the challenge at the moment. But hopefully we've got everything just right and we've, uh, you know, we've calculated right in terms of how far um, the tide's going to push us one way to how far the tide's going to push us the other way. Otherwise, we're going to end up motoring into Alderney, which we don't really want to do. Um, so we're just going to keep trying to turn as much as we can um, onto that French coast to keep keep us upstream of it. It's time for some lunch.
So we're almost there, 3.8 miles to go now to our destination on um, Alderney and we can start to see the breakwater here where the, uh, where the actual the, uh, marina is, well it's not a marina, it's uh, moorings, so we can start to see that now. Wind's completely gone, everyone's a little, getting a little bit tired but um, we've had a good trip across, it's a shame we didn't get a little more wind on the way across. Um, but we did okay, did okay. Probably our longest trip, it is our longest trip I think. So, everyone's done very well. All getting ready for some food. Uh, I think it's taken us about 11 and a half hours or it will have done by the time we get there. So not too bad. Um, I think it says in the book it takes about 12, so we've done okay. If we'd have had a bit more wind on the way across, we'd have, we'd have done really well, but um, we were very close hauled most of the way, which didn't help. Um, so we had to, uh, uh, when we got to the traffic separation lane, we had to actually turn the engine on and drive upwards a little bit. So turn more towards the French coast to our port, go upstream a little bit, just try and get a slightly better wind angle, um, which we did. And, um, and then we sailed again from there on. But this last little bit we've had to motor because the wind's completely gone now. It's, it's four knots kind of coming from over here, just not enough at all. But we're here now. So we're going to spend a couple of days here um, exploring the island and having a bit of a wander around. And then um, we'll see where we go next. <laughs> we've been sailing all day, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. And we're all a bit tired. Very tired. But we have arrived. <laughs> We've picked up a mooring, haven't we? Yeah. We've had some tea. And it's really, really nice here. Yeah. Totally. We've, we've not checked in yet, so we don't know what we have to do with it, all that sort of stuff. We've, but we've, we've seen some people come round in like boats like that look like a harbour master, but we think they were just taxis. Yeah, there seems to be a water taxi service, doesn't there? Mm -hmm. We know what the harbour master's office is. is we think he's probably gone home, so... We'll come back tomorrow. We'll get yeah, tomorrow. we'll sort it out tomorrow. But we submitted our forms and everything, so we're all we're all good anyway. That's it. We're going to explore the island tomorrow, and then we're going to decide what we're going to do. Whether we're going to stay a couple of nights or whether we're going to go somewhere else, we're not sure yet. So that's it.